Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our special update on Cyclone Dovey, which will today become ex-tropical Cyclone Dovey because it loses the tropical portion in the middle of it. It's still a storm, but it's no longer a tropical fueled storm now that it's over cooler waters as it comes into the New Zealand area. Although the sea temperatures around the North Island are warmer than average at the moment, and that's part of the reason why we're watching this storm very closely as it moves in. It's going to change shape once it becomes ex-tropical or extra-tropical, it loses its shape and it becomes a much messier system to forecast. It spreads the severe weather away from the middle part and out further afield. That's the reason why we're seeing much of the North Island impacted by it over the next couple of days. So we're going to show you the rain maps and then the wind maps to try and give you an understanding as to what's going on. Here is the storm right now passing by Norfolk Island overnight. The centre of it just out to the west, the heavier rain went pretty much straight over the top of them, but the worst of the winds hopefully were just offshore. You can see this huge cloud attached to it all the way around, sort of in a big circular fashion. There's rain for the top of the South Island as we recorded this on Saturday. Uh, heavy falls in there and it might move a little bit further up and towards Wellington as the day goes on. Here's how it looks on the tracking map. You can certainly see uh, it curves around Category 2 strength, but once it loses that tropical status, uh, it loses the categories as well. So it comes in as an X storm or X tropical storm but it's still a storm. I know it's confusing, we don't make the rules. But this comes on in and you've got the tropical northerlies ahead of it, but I told you that the middle part of it's lost the tropical portion. You can see that cold southerly coming in. So there's a big southerly flow feeding into it. That's part of the reason the system is changing. Here's the latest tracking from Met Service when we recorded. Uh, the middle of the storm is relevant because it helps us work out where the severe weather is going to be on either side of it. But Met Service are right, once it sort of moves into the New Zealand area, where the center of the storm is becomes less important because uh, as I said before, the energy spreads further afield. So that, as you can see, the North Island is definitely uh, exposed. So let's get into the rain. Here is the rain radar, the enhanced radar from IBM and WeatherWatch. You can clearly see the storm offshore here with the center uh, in this zone. The top of the country at the moment, cloudy, very humid, very tropical. Uh, the last time I saw a setup like this was the day that Cyclone Gita came in a few years ago. So we're seeing very tropical weather, but as you can see, not a lot of rain at, at the time of recording, but we are expecting a few afternoon downpours, maybe even a few thunderstorms in that humid weather and the sun coming out. You can see how it connects to that other rain system further down the country over central New Zealand. So if we take a look at the Met Service rain radar, you can see that rain coming through here. Uh, now we put it on the loop so it goes back and then starts again. It's moving from the Tasman through Cook Strait. So again, reverse it back and come back through. You can see the rain falling there around Nelson, Marlborough, and parts of the lower North Island where it's a bit patchy at the moment, not quite as heavy as it could have been in the Wellington area for now, but that could still change. There's still rain yet to come through. And of course, the low itself, which is not yet here. And here is the uh, rainfall forecast. How much rain is on the way? the heaviest falls and the orange and yellow shading. So very much where it's been the last few days, the lower part of the North Island, the upper part of the South Island, otherwise known as Central New Zealand. That's where the bulk of the rain will be. And the rain map looks pretty similar to how it's looked the last few days. The pale blue and the pinks showing sort of 50 to 150 millimeters of rain coming through. And the heaviest falls look to be around Taranaki, Wellington, Southern Wairarapa, and maybe some parts here of the Upper South Island. I say maybe because it's moving around a wee bit, but clearly uh, Northern Canterbury also in that risk zone, whereas the very top and the very bottom parts of the country are further away from the rain. Let's get into the wind, because this might be the more serious part. In fact, I think it will be. You've got these big strong winds at three in the morning coming down into Auckland and Northland, with gusts getting up into gale force and potentially up to 100 k's an hour or more as it comes through in exposed areas. The further down the North Island you go, the winds, they fall apart but then they pick up again and cook straight. That's a different airflow. That's a southerly or southeasterly really coming through. And that starts to pick up as the center of the storm moves closer in. By nine o'clock in the morning, the winds up here might actually ease back a little bit for a time. It might not be precisely at 9 a.m. though. Because the storm is changing shape, the timing can be thrown out a wee bit. But what you're seeing is a surge of nor'easters at the top of the country in the morning, and then gradually it curves around a wee bit, and that just might ease us a little bit. Here's the strong stuff, it's out at sea. 
The southeasterly flow through Cook Strait gets even stronger at 9 o'clock in the morning, and by the time we reach 3 p.m., the winds are howling through Cook Strait, but now curving back around into the Auckland area, and that's why Auckland is now uh, getting that orange alert from Met Service, and there could well be um, some power cuts, because once you get winds that are getting up over gale force, and we're getting maybe double gale force potentially, um, you could see trees coming down, branches coming down, and then that can affect power lines as well. So power outages are a possibility, storm damage is a possibility, but it still could change a wee bit as it moves in. Because that center is changing shape and being stretched out, there's still a chance that we might see some movement in the Auckland area. But look, the whole system crosses in, and then we see the eastern side of the North Island being exposed. But look at this, by nine o'clock on Sunday night, the winds are easing right across that whole western half of the North Island. Still very windy along the eastern side, but starting to ease. And then we get to noon Monday, and it's mostly out at sea. This is the center. Look at how stretched out it all is. So it's a big, long, stretched out, like a cigar, as opposed to the perfect circular shape it had in the tropics. And that process from the circular shape to the stretched out one happens from midnight Saturday to about lunchtime or early morning Monday. So it's over Sunday as it moves in. And that's part of the reason why it's really hard to lock in with precision, sometimes with these systems, exactly the worst areas impacted. Here's an animation of what I just showed you so you can kind of get a better picture as it moves on through. The time down at the bottom. If you can't see this stuff clearly enough in the video, you'll find this on our website. So please take a look at weatherwatch.co.nz. But the areas in purple and pink are the areas that could be damaging as far as winds are concerned as the system comes through. Lastly, you can see the center changing shape as it actually comes through. It stretches right out in the middle there, particularly as it crosses the North Island. Let's just recap that quickly. Here is midnight tonight. The storm's offshore, northerly winds coming through, heavy rain in central New Zealand. We go through to noon Sunday. In comes the storm. The centre of it we think will be around Waitomo, Waikato, North Taranaki, that area. Uh, but like I say, it's not necessarily where the centre is, the storm, the severe weather gets spread out. But you can see the big strong winds that curve back in around Auckland as we get into the afternoon tomorrow. The big strong southerlies coming into the lower North Island and the heavy rain still around central areas. Not much rain in the top, not much rain at the bottom. And then we get to noon Monday and the whole thing is gone. It's <laughs> low pressure is out here, the hot humid weather out to the northeast, and it's all feeding into a low that's a thousand odd kilometers away from New Zealand, if not further, and high pressure rolls in. And here's the part many of you will like, a temperature drop, in comes that southerly, the humidity is gone, it's gonna be a much, much better day. It'll, it might still be a little bit humid, but the mugginess will certainly be disappearing. So this is where it lies as we go into lunchtime Saturday. It is changing shape, you can see the middle of it there, no longer perfectly circular, it's being stretched out, like I keep saying, that makes it trickier as it rolls in as to who gets the worst of the weather because it's all unraveling, but then that spreads the severe weather further afield so more people can be impacted. So there's a lot going on. We'll keep you updated. We'll have more news updates across weatherwatch.co.nz and also ruralweather.co.nz. If you want to drill down more on the rainfall totals in your area, Rural Weather's got some really nice graphs that help with that. Just finally, Met Service warnings and watches. You won't hear me we're talking about this, but we will. Met Service is the official warnings provider in New Zealand. So they have the tax funded warnings and watches. They're all up on the Weather Watch website. We're actually now putting them up live on your forecasts as well uh, on the website. We'll be bringing that to the app a bit later on this year. That's all from me for today. We'll see you again maybe tomorrow Sunday. We're not sure if we'll do a video on Sunday, but either way, we will have news updates on Sunday as we track Dovey moving across New Zealand.